Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to be going through this week's Forzathon event. Now this week's Forzathon wants you to use a 2011 BMW 1 Series M Coupe also known as the 1M not to be confused with the old school M1 uh, because you will not complete this week's challenges in that unfortunately. Now the 1 Series M Coupe can be picked up in the auto show for 55,000 credits uh, or you can probably pick it up cheaper in the auction house if you so please. Um, now I have created a tune for it as well now you don't necessarily need a tune for this week's challenges uh, but it's always good to get it done quicker now it's nothing too excessive either uh, same engine same drivetrain uh, almost 600 brake nice and easy there now the first challenge just wants you to win two road sprint events now make sure you take note that it is sprint events so you can either go off and do your own one or I have created one for you guys to use so if you head over to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint, um, you will see that I've created a race for you to use. I'll show you the share code in a second, but make sure you do not do a circuit event, otherwise you will not complete the challenges. Now, if you go over to the blueprints or custom events, uh, you can type in share codes. So the one for this race is 2086722. It can be found under my blueprints as well. I've used it before many a time in my videos. Um, and it's a nice and easy one where obviously I send the AI off on their own. Uh, and you can just breeze past them. So it really doesn't matter what difficulty you do these races on because it's a Forzathon event. So you can do it on easy or hard. It's down to you. Uh, it's not a festival playlist. So it does not matter what difficulty you do it on. So all you have to do is win that twice. And that's the first challenge completed there. A very nice and easy one. Uh, will not take that long at all. Now the next challenge wants you to earn a total of 500,000 skill score in your BMW 1M. Uh, now, what I'd recommend doing is buying out the car mastery perks. Uh, now, not all of them are too useful, but some of them will help you. I think you get like 30% extra on drift skills, uh, and side swipe skills, etc. So they will aid you a bit. Um, but then I recommend going to the Greendale Airstrip. Now, as per usual, I always recommend going here for skill score challenges because there's a ton of stuff to smash into. You can obviously get your drift skills, your side swipe wreckage road closed all sorts of skills can be got at the airstrip you know even air skills and speed skills um, so it's a nice and easy one and obviously you can do this challenge in one hit so if you get 100,000 uh, skill score and then it gets multiplied by five you'll complete the challenge uh, or you can do it over the course of a couple of days or the whole week it's really entirely down to yourself now the final challenge here really isn't actually a challenge, it's just more of a task um, and it just wants you to drive 15 miles in your 1M. Now I don't know why it says M1 there because technically I suppose it's not but anywho, um, so 15 miles all you have to do nice and easy. Uh, so as per usual for these challenges I definitely recommend just go into the motorway and you do a couple of laps of that and you'll complete this challenge in no time now it'll take about five to ten minutes you know the bmw 1m uh, it's not sort of bugatti veyron sort of speed but it's no slouch either so it won't take too long um but these challenges can be a bit tedious because it's, it's can be fairly boring just driving up and down to complete them um, but at the end of the day just be glad it's not a difficult one i guess it's quite a nice and easy one to finish off this week's falls of thumb with uh, and it's a nice way to earn the falls of thumb points you know not too difficult at all now i know you guys are all probably experts at this game right about now but if you do have any questions relating to this week's Forzathon or anything Forza related, please do say so down in the comments and I will help you out as best as I can. Uh, I'd rather you say and I can help you out rather than you guys sort of not say anything. Uh, because otherwise you might be having a difficult time uh, and I like to try my best to help you guys out as much as I can. Uh, but apart from that guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you out. Uh, if you are new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe for more content content just like this but apart from that all the best thank you very much and take care guys